And he said this, Mount Moriah shall be most holy separated and set apart. Now, I can't teach on this today, but I'm going to say this. When you go back to Mount Moriah, the Lord said, Abraham, here's going to be your last and final test. You're going to bring Isaac. Abraham had already had to give away one son. He had gone through so much stuff with Sarah that not many of us would survive all those rough edges. Ten distinct testings that Abraham had, but this was the last one. He said, you're going to have to come up to Mount Moriah. So what it said to me, the law of the house is established on Mount Moriah. And on Mount Moriah, remember, this is what he said. Abraham, start worshiping me the way I've taught you to worship since you left Ur of the Chaldees. So Abraham laid the wood in order. He said, now, I want you to tell Isaac that he's going to be your sacrifice in this worship. Isaac was a 36-year-old man. Think how he liked this. But the Word of God says he and Abraham both had such a faith in God that when Isaac submitted to this test, which is the law of the house, What are you going to lay on your altar of worship? And when Isaac submitted, it was getting pretty iffy. But Abraham knew he had come out of child sacrifice and that wasn't God's way. And all of a sudden, God came down. God came down. He revealed himself to them as Jehovah Jireh. I will cause you to see the provision you need for the future. That's what that word really means. You will see your provision for what you need to advance into your promise. And all of a sudden, he activated the law of the house. This will be the law of my house from this day forward. When you sacrifice, when you give in to my covenant plan for you and you and you and the place I bring you to, I will cause your provision that you need to be seen. The law of the house. And then the Lord in his wisdom, when he's talking about the new Jerusalem and the temple that will return in Ezekiel, he said, now, I'm going to apply this law of the house all the way in through your future. And if you remember it, as it was applied on Mount Moriah, I will activate it for you each time you sacrifice to me. We are headed in. And then you go ahead and see in Ezekiel, he was saying, You operating in the law of the house will cause my glory to be seen. Let's all stand up. Lord, we are entering in to a season we've never been in before. Lord, this place you chose this morning to activate us into 
this new manifestation of the future. Now let's lift our hands. Father, I decree right now over everyone listening, anyone on the web, anyone in this place, I decree an anointing for success in a new way. Now here in this house, I've not spoken this at our house. The law of the house, I'm activating it in this house. And what happens when you do that, see God reiterated and, and spoke every word he had ever spoken to Abraham, but then he added a whole new prophecy for Isaac. See, when the law of the house is activated, it extends into the generations ahead. Lord, we loose that in this house today. Say every one of your children's name out loud and say, the law of the house is going to be applied to you. Now, Father, I loose a worship anointing in this place that will go beyond anything that has ever been experienced. And, Father, I say on this entire hill here, <coughs> the glory of God is going to come and rest. And the Lord says, as you apply the law of the house, the hill will be yours. Father, I loose this anointing here in Jesus' name. And I say, we are now passing through the door of our promise and into the new ahead. Let's give a shout and thank God.